What's up everyone, welcome back to the garage. Yeah, some real fancy schmancy garage we got here. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be replacing these two CFL bulbs that I have in the garage. They, they kind of suck. They're 2700K color grade. Not sure about the wattage, I'm gonna take a look at that once I bring one of the bulbs down. And the problem with these is when you first turn them on, they take a little bit of time to warm up and give you that full brightness. Also, they're a little bit yellowish tint, so that's kind of, looks kind of cruddy. And when I get this garage painted and looking much better, everything painted, ceiling, walls, uh, epoxy on the floor, I'm not gonna want that sort of nasty old yellowish tint, uh, especially on the car too, especially on a white car. You want it to kind of look white. So we're gonna be replacing the bulbs with these LED corn bulbs. They're called corn bulbs because they kind of look like a cob of corn. They put out probably double, if not more than double, the output of one of these CFL bulbs. These are about 35 watts each, 4500K light color, and they should be more efficient as well. And the promise behind them is that when you flick the light switch on, they're at full brightness right away versus taking a minute or so to to warm up. So I'm gonna pull these two bulbs out and then I'm gonna show you the difference. Hopefully the camera won't correct too much lighting, shutter, aperture, ISO, so you'll, we'll be able to see what the difference is. And I'll see what the coverage is and hopefully it'll be good. So these are about 20 bucks on Amazon. So uh, see if I can get in here, see any of the information, yeah. So I'm gonna show you the difference and uh, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so um, here's the difference, <laughs> I just installed one of them and you can see how much brighter, how much considerably brighter the garage already is. Uh, left the other one in there just temporarily and um, I'm really curious to see what the effect's going to be. Really good overall lighting, there's LEDs on the bottom of it as well that are projecting a lot of light straight down. Um, plus you have a lot of light that's being shot on a 360 sort of angle. Um, so looking good so far. I'm curious what it's going to look like when I install the one on top of the car. See a sort of different shade I get. You can already tell that the car is getting this more sort of bluish, more real natural white tint. And uh, so yeah, uh, let's get the other one on. I'll be a monkey's uncle. These look pretty damn bright. That's a huge difference for me. Yep, definitely liking that. So the main difference I can see already is that the tint, the color difference, the 4500K versus the 2700K, huge difference. Everything looks so much more white, but not that like uncomfortable sort of hospital white where you get blue white tint. Um, not really down with that, but uh, the car looks more white. That's like normal, like daylight. Probably what the color will look like once the car parks outside. Although this Type R is sort of off-white in a sense, but still looks good. So pretty happy with this. We'll see how long they last. We'll see if there's any issues with them. Hopefully everything will be good. There is some sort of construction aspect of them that I don't like. I'm just gonna get up there and show you. A few moments later. So hopefully this is visible in the camera. Uh, I did have to turn the lights off and turn on the main uh, garage door light. If you can sort of see there, there's a lot of exposed uh, thread for the light bulb. And this sort of just spells cheap Chinese Amazon product where things are just not properly measured and factored in for life in North America or basically anything else. The other bulbs that were screwed in completely uh, all the way where you could see this part was fully enclosed. There was no exposed piece. I mean, no one's gonna climb up on an eight foot ceiling and uh, stick their hand in there or shove a fork in there and get electrocuted. I mean, that's, that's a bit ridiculous, but 
it's just to show you the, the construction of it. And uh, yeah, so you can see the exposed LEDs. Um, I don't think these would be a good idea for outdoor use unless they're in an enclosure, but again, in an enclosure, you'll have moisture, water can always get in. You see the LEDs on the bottom that project downwards. And yeah, I mean, overall, they look cool. So try these out and see how they go. Hopefully uh, nothing falls down on the car because this happens to be right above. But uh, yeah, and uh, they're, they're quite heavier, quite different from the other bulbs. So here's the other bulb. You can see 23 watts, 60 hertz, 2700 K, 1600 lumens. Whereas these bulbs are at 40, sorry, 4,000, 4,100 lumens. So yeah, quite a difference guys. I mean, there you go. There's a yellow 2,700 K light bulb. So yeah, guys, there you have it. The light bulbs are installed. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, you can see the garage is quite a bit brighter. I'm excited to paint because now I can actually see a lot more sort of material. I can see more spots of the garage, whereas there were some dark spots before. Uh, I like the color in here now. I like how it's more bright and vivid and makes the car look a lot better, as you can see. So if you guys like the content, if you like what you see today, if you like the video that I did about the light bulbs, consider just giving me a like and a subscribe and stay tuned for more sort of transitional videos on this garage as it goes from becoming a piece of shit to something actually cool and uh, housing a car worthy of being in here. So thanks guys, stick around and I'll see you in the next video.